פעלים ואומר חסדים טובים, תלמיד חכם מובהק, ברוך השם, מקים עולה של תורה, הרב הגאון, הרב אבישי לוי שליטה. יהי רצון שייתן לו הקדוש ברוך הוא בריאות טובה, נחת, שלווה, שמחה, וכל אשר יפנה ישכיל ויצליח להפיץ מעיינותיו חוצה, להגדיל תורה ולהגדילה, אמן שלי נהי רצון. We read last week פרשת ויחי. If we look at the פרשה and the הפטרה we can see two things completely different. The brothers of Yosef. Of course, they understood. They made a mistake about Yosef. They sold him and uh, they uh, thought it's mitzvah and then the Yosef proved them that they were wrong and in the end for 17 years after they didn't ask for Mahila they didn't say forgive us nothing why because they knew he will, will not do anything bad to them because of Yaakov after 17 years Yaakov passed away. They were afraid that now he will take a revenge. They went to him and they asked for Mehila. Of course, Yosef was tzaddik. We can understand that he, he didn't think about uh, revenge. At the beginning, when they came, he told them, you are spies, because he wanted to organize something until they will see they are wrong. But he didn't take any revenge. And when they, they were asking for Mehila, what did he say? Not only he said, I forgive you. He said, don't worry. I will do anything I can do good for you. Don't worry, everything will be good. And Vainahem Otam, Vaidaber Aliba, the opposite. He spoke to them, no, be happy, nothing happened. Hashem did it, you know. He told them, uh, if I want to give you back the same, what you did to me? You sold me to be a slave, and I became a king. So if I can sell, sell you now to be slaves and then you will be kings, okay, but I cannot do that. So Yosef, according to the halakha, if Yosef comes to rabbis, he asks, do I have to forgive them or not? For sure, every rabbi te uh, uh, tell, tells him, no way, you don't have to, to forgive them. If you want, it means that you are a big, big tzaddik. But chova, uh, you have to? No, we, nobody can say you have to. You must forgive them? No way. But if you want, okay, it's, uh, it's, you, it's your decision. You are tzaddik if you, if you have mehila. This is Yosef and his brothers. And when we read the Haftarah, David HaMelech, <coughs> first of all, we know that David HaMelech was a holy man, the biggest tzaddik. Hashem loved David all the time. David was a prophet. He wrote to us Sefer Tehillim, the holy book. Everyone, when he wants to pray to Hashem, Tehillim, holy book. He was a holy man. The Gemara said that David HaMelech uh, never was sleeping midnight. Uh -huh. He used to go to sleep early, very little, and uh, before Hatzot, before midnight, he used to wake up and he was singing to Hashem and learning Torah the whole night. And after Tefillah, he used to receive 
Women, questions about Tahara, about Mikveh, all the questions. He was a posek. All the questions came to him. So David Amelech, holy man, he passed away. Before that, he brought his son, Shlomo. Shlomo, he is the next king. He knows his son is going to be the king. So he has to tell him something before he dies. What he has to tell him? Please, worship Hashem. Keep the mitzvot, learn Torah. And that's what he told him. He told him that. But after that, he said, but there is someone, Shim'i ben Gerach. When I was running away from Shalom, he came and he cursed me. So please take care that this guy will not die a natural death. Kill him. And you are smart, you know how to do that. What happened here? David Amelek, the last thing before he died, he said, take revenge for me. He, he cursed me, take revenge for me. Yosef Atzadik, he didn't have to have Mehila to, to make, to, to forgive his brothers, and he did it. And David, long time after, he cursed him, okay, and when he cursed him, what David said, he swore that he will not kill him. He told him, I swear to Hashem, I will not kill you, he said. And he told him also, um, he told his people, don't blame him. Hashem told him to curse me. Hashem amar lo kalel. It, it came from Hashem, not from him. And nothing. But before he died, suddenly he remembered what he did to him. He said, kill him. What is this? Why? If he tells Shlomo, keep Torah, mitzvot, erev, okay, the best. And then, after that, he said, kill him. What is this? But I want to explain it to you, and it's a very strong musar to each one of us. Revenge. It's good or bad? Bad. Of course, it's bad. The Torah said, Lo tikom. It's not allowed to take revenge. Yes, it's big, big avon. Revenge, it's big, big avon. It's one of the worst avonot is to take revenge. But, there is pasuk. El Nekamot Hashem. Hachamim said, Gdola Nekama Shenitna Ben Shtei Shemot. El, it's the name of Hashem. Nekamot Hashem. Name of Hashem. In the middle, the word Nekamot. It means revenge, it's great, the Gemara said. It's great. Haninu Goim Amo Kidam Avada Vikom. Hashem ikom damam, and we say all the time, revenge, Hashem will take revenge from the people that did bad to Am Israel. El mekamot Hashem. So if it is allowed to take revenge, why Hashem said to us, Hashem said, you are not allowed to take revenge, it's big, big avon. The Hazal say that uh, we have to follow Hashem. Mahu Rahum, he has mercy, you have mercy. Everything, we have to follow Hashem. So he takes revenge. Revenge. Why? Why he said, you, you don't, why it's only for Hashem, why? But Rabotai, here about uh, revenge, we have to understand one very important thing. First of all, people that take revenge, they enjoy very much from that. People say that revenge is sweeter than honey. Wow. If someone takes revenge, I, I, 
you did to me? Oh, no, you see, I gave you back. And he's very, very happy. Very happy. Ah, I did it. I did it. He suffered. He, I was suffering, now he's suffering. Ah, it's, it's big pleasure for people that take revenge. But from one side, it's evil, yes? But from the other side, what is revenge? He did like this to me, I do the same. I pay him back exactly what he did, I give, I give him back. He, I came to him when I needed money, I told him, give me uh, 100,000, please, please. And he had money, he said, I don't want to give you. Now, the situation changed, now he needs me, he comes to me, he said, please give me 100,000. I tell him, <laughs> you didn't want to give me also, I don't want to give you. Ha ha ha, you didn't want, okay. Now you see what you did to me. So, it, to pay back, to pay back the same, it's justice, yes? What is justice? What you did, you have to pay. And more than that, we believe one of the 13 principal, principles of Judaism is that Hashem pay everyone the same like he did. Gomel leish hasid kemifalo noten larasha ra kerishato. You did mitzvah, you will take reward. You will get reward. If you did hasve shalom avon, you will get uh, punishment. So to pay back, it's justice. It means that when Hashem pays back, it's not uh, the revenge, it's not to enjoy. Hashem is not enjoying to, to take revenge. Hashem takes revenge from people. It's why? Because the justice. This is the justice. Hashem has to do that. Goyim did bad to us, they have to pay for that. Kidam avadam ikom. Revenge is justice. So it's good when Hashem is doing that, it's justice. But when we want to take revenge, why we want to take revenge? Because we, are, we care about the justice? No. No, because we want to enjoy, we want him to suffer, to feel the same like I felt. So Hashem didn't appoint you, you are not in charge of uh, justice. Even Bedin, when they give punishment, this is justice, Bedin, they give punishment, not always they can give. Sometimes Bedin, they know the men deserve deserves punishment, and they cannot give it. The Gemara said a story, Rabbi Shimon ben Shatach. He was, uh, he, he was uh, outside, and he saw someone running after his friend with knife. So he started to run after them. He saw him going to kill him. So uh, he was, of course, he was not alone. Some people also were running to stop the men. And the men, the one that was running away, entered a cave. And the other one was running after him. And when the rabbi came, he saw the man going to die, and the other one with a knife, with blood. So there is uh, any doubt that he killed him? No, of course he killed him. But according to the halakha, Rabbi Shimon ben Shatach was the head of the Sanhedrin, head of the Bedin. But because he didn't see, he didn't see the act that he is killing, he cannot judge him. So the men now can go away with no punishment, no way. He told him, Rasha. I know, and Hashem knows that you killed him. Don't think, if I cannot do anything to you, 
Don't think you will get away without any punishment. Hashem will punish you. And the, the Gemara said, the same minute, a snake came to the cave and killed the man. Killed him. So it means we know that Hashem is paying. If someone did something to us, it, if we want to take revenge, it's not because we want justice. It's because we don't believe that Hashem will punish him. This is first. Second, worse. Uh, if you got something bad, Hashem, Hashem is handling the world, something bad happened to you, it means that you deserve it. You deserve The man, he is a shaliyah. Hashem sent him to do that to you. But you, you deserve. So why do you punish him? If he did something not good because he did it to you, let Hashem punish him, of course. Hashem will take care of him. But you, you have to accept. Like David Amelech, when Shimi ben Gera cursed him, what he said? Hashem amar lo kaleb. I deserve the curse. That's what David said. Hashem, Hashem decided I will be cursed. But before David passed away, he was a king. According to the halakha, if someone spoke not nice to the king like that, he deserved death. Moret b'malchut. Hayav mita. He had to kill him. When he did it to David, David couldn't kill him because he was not in charge first. He was not a king at that time. Yes, he, he, he was a king, but he didn't, didn't have the power. And also, also he said, if I kill him now, it's because I want revenge. It doesn't come from good side. So, no way. I will not take revenge. <coughs> After, when he almost passed away, now he forgive him, of course, no question, it's not personal. He forgives, he, long time, he forgot. Now David Amelech said, Hashem appointed me to be a king. Hashem appointed you, Shlomo, my son, to be a king. You are in charge of justice now. Now it's not revenge anymore. It's now it's justice. So he told Shlomo, take care of the justice. Because you are a king, you have to be, to make the justice. Abutai, every day, every day, we have tests about that. To take revenge. The Torah said not only not to take revenge. The Torah said, lo tikom ve lo titor. You know what is lo titor? <coughs> An example. Someone came to, he, to me and told me, please uh, give me a loan. Um, I, I, I said no. After a short time, I went to him, asked him for a loan. He said, look, when I came to you, you said no. But I'm not like you. I will give you. This is also not allowed. Not at all. Even just to tell him, I'm not like you. Or someone came and he hit me. I tell him, no, I will, not, I will not be like you. I will not give you back. Yeah, it's not allowed even to say that. And of course, to give back, if it is self-defense, uh, it's, it's another question. But uh, to take revenge, even the worst things he did to you, you are not allowed to take revenge. Pray to Hashem or sue him to Bedin. But then they are allowed to make the justice, but uh, to do uh, yourself something, it's not allowed. The Gemara said there was a rabbi, Rav Huna. He was very rich. He had big winery. One day he came to his winery, and uh, he, it was bad smell. Bad smell, it means something happened to the wine. So he opened one. It became uh, vinegar. He lost. 
He opened the other one, the third one, four, 400. All of them, vinegar. So it means he lost all of his money. He invested big money with that. Wine, it's expensive, and vinegar, it's very cheap. So now he lost his money. So he was at his home set. Uh, his students came to him and told him, Rabbi, you have to check what I will not you did. He said, what? Do you think, I, I, you know me. Do you think I'm making Avonot? You suspect me I'm making Avonot? And they said, and you suspect Hashem that he gave you punishment for nothing? He said, look, I checked myself. I checked everything I did. He was the biggest tzaddik, top tzaddik. I didn't find. If you know something about me that I did wrong, tell me. They told him, yes, we know. What? He hired someone to work for him. And uh, he promised him one third for the money. And he gave him less. The rabbi said, you know why I gave him less? Because I caught him a few times, he stole from me. He stole. They said, okay, he stole from you. He put his hand to your pocket, and now you put your hand to his pocket. You also, you know, the same, uh, the same club, thieves. He stole from you, and you stole from, you, you stole from him. You also taste, uh, have a taste of uh, stealing. If you have problems, he stole from you, fire him or sue him, but you are not allowed to steal from him. The rabbi said, okay, I will pay him back. He paid him, he paid him, and uh, the Gemara said, um, there are two opinions in the Gemara, what happened after. One opinion said it was a miracle, the, the vinegar became wine. And another opinion said, no, the vinegar was vinegar. But suddenly, the price of the vinegar became, went up very much, became the same like wine. So in any way, he didn't lose money because he corrected himself. So we have to worship Hashem. And if has Shalom, something not good, we think it's not good, came to us. We have to make Hashbon Nefesh and we have to fix it. And uh, if someone did something bad to us, we have to know Hashem sent him. It's up to Hashem. Revenge Hashem will take. Uh, I got bad, I have to think why I got bad, and I have to correct myself, to fix it. So everything came from Hashem. If we really believe Hashem, we worship Hashem, always we will do good, and Be'ezrat uh, Hashem, we will not need no revenge, no nothing. We will have only good relation, relationship with our friends. Amen. 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 אלה שלא נישואים שיזכו לחופה בקרוב, יבנו בתים נאמנים בישראל. ניתן לכם הקדוש ברוך הוא שפע של פרנסה טובה, בריאות טובה, איכות ימים משנים, בסוף השמחות, אמן כן יהיה רצון.